Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shen, and we're back here playing Rome 2 Total War. And wow, look at this town. We are going to do the defense of Garama. It's a nice looking town. I don't know why there's like a, a tennis court or something outside the gates, but there is. I guess it's like a, a trade court, a bazaar, or something. I don't know what the fuck that's for. It's a weird little way to get up and down in this town. It looks like there's a, a rock ridge over here, and there's these giant steps, staircases to go up, and some columns for whatever reason. And we have our, our three wonderful units, mobs and spearmen, ready to fight off uh, these retards. So let's do it. We're just going to go to the capture point, and oh, they're on the other side of town. It's fine. We're just going to go to the capture point and uh, see what they do. Archers. I wish we had archers, but we don't. Look at them run. Look at them run. Yeah, we're gonna go get uh, Garama. He's like, where are we again? He's like, fuck if I know, but I heard they have women. Oh, I hate to tell you, we ain't got no women. All we got is mobs. Lots and lots of mobs. We got palm trees, too. Wish we had some skirmishers here, but we don't. So what's the course of action here? Are they going to burn down the walls? They're going to burn down the gates, aren't they? Oh, the towers are shooting them. Cool. Go towers. They haven't lost anyone yet, though. Yeah, they're going to burn down the, the, the gate. This guy. Yep. Oh, wow. It's already at 26% damage. Are you kidding me? That was only one attack. That's a weak-ass gate. I think we're shooting them. Yeah, I see shots going, but they're not actually taking damage. They haven't lost anybody yet. God, you guys are terrible. <laughs> These gates are terrible shots. I wonder if you can upgrade the gates to actually be good shots. <laughs> or if you man the gate. If you man the gates, do they become better? They still haven't lost anybody. I'm going to put it on fast forward. I don't know what's going on. Hmm. Well, it looks like they're not attacking the gate anymore. Not sure why. Oh, they are finally losing people. Okay. 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 Are you going to attack the gate now? Are you going to attack the gate now? No? I don't know what's going on here. Welcome to the AI, I guess. I don't know what to tell you. They've lost almost everybody in that unit. And they're not attacking the gates anymore. Nope, that unit's gone. Now what? Now what, AI? Talk to me. This is just amazing. These guys are super highly skilled siege people, I can tell. The thing I don't get is they attacked the gate once. They did 26% damage attacking it once, and then they just decided not to attack it anymore. Oh, now they're attacking it. Okay. Maybe that other unit was in the way and they couldn't attack it while he was there. Yeah, now they're attacking it. Uh, but in the meantime, they're taking a lot of losses. So, okay. Yeah, let me put it back on regular time. So it looks like they are actually going to come in. That's okay with me. They have a general unit who is just some spear idiot. And then they have the skirmishers or archers. But yeah, they're still getting shot. The gate hasn't fallen yet. They've lost half their guys in that regiment. This guy's lost um, almost 30 of them. I guess those melee guys were just in the way and they couldn't throw their things over the top of them. I don't know. But they still haven't destroyed the, the gatehouse. They're almost there. 
This guy's gonna retreat though. Yeah, there's only five of them left. They're dead. And now these guys shall die. Are you gonna... Are you gonna attack the gates or not? I guess not. They're just gonna die. Oh, the AI. What the hell's wrong with the AI? Well, this is gonna be the best episode ever. Hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, this is one of the many problems with the AI. Oh, we have guys on the gates? Oh no, those are them. Whoa, you zoom in close. Oh no, we, oh, that's we can tell our guys to go there. I don't think we need to. I think we're gonna win this without even fighting them. Because our gatehouse is apparently superior. Look at him. He's like, du -du 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 Two plus two is Oh god, I'm dead. Two plus two is four. 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 Why is everyone dying? I'm the only one left. Oh, I'm dead too. Huh. Oh, here comes the general. Can you get the gate down, general? Can you get the gate down? No, I'm going to send all my units to the front. Just for shits and giggles. Can you get the gate down, general? Can you do it? Can you do it? Are you going to attack the gate or are you just going to stand there? So the gate's at 86% damage. Um, um, oh, he's gonna attack, he's gonna attack. Or not? Uh, I don't know. Alright, let's put the speed on three again. He hasn't taken any losses yet. It looks like he has some armor. But the arrows will pierce the armor eventually, and once they've done that, then they'll start taking losses. Uh, okay. Oh, yep, yeah, they're taking losses now. Why don't you attack the gate, dude? Mr. Shabaka. Yeah, exactly. Two plus two is four. Uh-huh. 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 Goodbye. You've been banned. <laughs> Random morons showing up in stream. And they're all dying. And now they're retreating. Yay! Good job, mob! Give that mob a medal. Heroic victory. Can I save that replay? We're going to call it um, the epic defense of Garama. Save succeeded. <laughs> uh, look, we killed none of them. Good job, guys. Losses, 488. <laughs> oh... Okay, uh, we'll pause here and come back when we're on the campaign map again. Alright, heroic victory. We lost zero guys. We killed zero guys, but they lost 488. Doki doki. He's going to run off into the sunset and be like, Oh, we couldn't defeat a gatehouse. Oh, noble death. Someone died. Um... Hanno's Navigators, that was our... Oh, look, we can get a huge heavy tower. Wow. Tower or heavy tower. Ooh. The heavy tower is expensive as fuck. Um, you know what? We actually have a decent income now. We're going to get a huge heavy tower. Uh, let's see. Mangona Dynasty, Barsid Dynasty, Mangona Dynasty, and Hanona Dynasty. I, you know, I wish I could open up my dynasty thing here, the factions, so I can see which dynasty we already had some people from, but apparently we can't open it up. Chance for evading agents. Nope. Uh, we'll just go for some random moron construction costs. Uh, sure, we'll go for another Barsid idiot. Done. I think we have too many from our dynasty already. Well, we have three. Um... But yeah, I wish you could open this up so you could see the dynasty situation 
before you select a general, but you can't. It just says, nope, you gotta select one right now. You gotta select one right now. All right, now where are Hanno's navigators? Can we go to the fleet fleet view? Can we go to the fleet? Why do they make it so complicated? Um, okay. Now you should... You're just going to keep healing up. I think the rebels died. There were rebels here, and I think they just died. They just fell over. Uh, they died. Did you, Okay, they did take this. Yes, the RDLA did go take that. All right, so we can go have... Are we at war with them? No, we're not. All right. Do you guys want to um, trade on the RDLA? Oh, come on. RDLA. These idiots. No, they don't like us too much. Negative 25. That's the problem. Because we're playing as the Barsid Dynasty, apparently it's the only one in Carthage that has this problem. Um, apparently picking the Barsids mean you're going to have a negative 25 penalty with pretty much everyone. And that's kind of a problem. Because it means we can't trade with anyone. Nobody wants to trade because they hate our guts. And it's like, you can't really get off the ground. You can't get a non-aggressive pact with somebody who's at negative 25. You can't get a trade agreement with someone who's at negative 25. So what choice do you have? Nothing. I mean, we could try to buy it. Uh, let's find somebody who doesn't have trade with us. Like, um, you. Libya. We're not trading with Libya. Oh, that's our vassal. You better fucking trade with us, you little shit. Yeah. Uh, what else? Uh, Egypt, you want to trade? Uh, they are negative six with us. And the only reason they don't like us is because of that negative 25 cultural aversion. And they're upset that we released some troops from Saronica. Boo hoo, we released troops. Who cares? Do you want a non aggression pact? Nope. Not gonna happen. Do you want a trade agreement? Nope. Oh, for 3,500 bucks. How much would this trade be worth to us? Only 122. I mean, that's expensive for that. That would take a long time to make it valuable. Screw off. These guys are just so demanding. They're, they're assholes. Do you want to trade? What's the relationship right now? Where's our relationship? Negative nine. And the only problem is cultural aversion. Look, you guys are Barsid Dynasty. Negative 30 penalty. Everything else is all green. They're all happy about some other stuff, but no nope, cultural aversion. Non-aggression pact. That's fine. At least we got non-aggression with them. Do you want to trade? Not even for money. Yeah. If he wanted money for trade, he would have suggested a counteroffer. So he's just not interested. Nobody's interested. You're just stuck with this crappy, crappy situation where we can't get any trade. No trade means very, very bad money. Very bad money. Uh, that's okay, though. I don't mind too much. Oh, my vassal did lose this town. And he lost Dimity. So we can come take both. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, get off double time. Can I... There we go. Just no stance. Good. Come attack the town. Can you get off? I want you to get off the boats. Oh my god, the lag is horrible. Okay, there. Can you get off the boats? Can you get off the boats? No, you can't get off the boats? Okay, come attack the town then. Attack the town. Oh, such pain in the ass. As soon as you select a, a unit, it just lags to all hell and back. It's amazingly bad. Alright, so this is kind of cool. This guy took out my my uh, vassal's lands in Africa. So we can take my vassal's lands in Africa. And that'll give us full control over the Marutanian province. That's amazing. And now my vassal's over here in Hispania, and it looks like he's going to lose that too. That's okay, I don't mind losing a vassal. Whatever. Uh, there's some rebels out here. Can we attack on this turn? No, we can't reach him. It's okay. How are we doing over here? Public order is a pain. But we can probably fix it. Um, we don't need the food, I don't think. Do we need the food? No. Let's get rid of the food. And we'll build a culture building there. Uh, and yeah, build a culture building there. That's fine. Everything else is fine. Then we'll come take Dimity. Very lightly defended. I like it. Uh, you, how are we doing in this place? Plus 20 per turn. Nice. Uh, culture building, please. And culture building, please. Perfect. What is this? Oh yeah, convert that. Convert that. Okay, we're on a roll. Things are looking up. Uh, what are these things? These are three agents over here. <laughs> they have a noble, a hero, and a spy. All three. It's the triumvirate. 
They're all just chilling here. So yeah, this seems to be the, the place where everyone wants to go to war over this town. So we we're just going to stay you, there Lord. with our 20 stack of awesomeness. Oh, we can upgrade something. What upgrades? Uh, the champion or whatever he is. Um, plus two authority. Mm, minus 12 morale for all units in the target army. This faction. Ah, okay. Uh, cunning, chance of evading enemy units. Uh, okay. Construction costs. Nah, siege weapons. Crap. Cunning, manipulation. Stratagem. Harass, harass, raid, cunning. Uh, okay. Zeal. Oh, zeal. Movement range. Nice. Love movement range. Alright, uh, is there anybody who has an upgrade? Yes, the Pride of Mago. Ready for orders. Oh, you fuckers, you got an upgrade. Okay, what did you upgrade? Just the general. Fine by me. He's gonna go for warrior or commander or strategy. I'm gonna go for commander. Probably a good way to start out. And uh, let's end this episode. So, thank you guys for joining me today. Hope you enjoyed this wonderful episode, including the awesome defense of Grama. And I'll see you next time. Have a good day.